Hello everyone, I'm Chase of Rocky Mountain HVMC giving you a closer look at the KTM and Husqvarna Dakar Hydration Pack. All right, everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today, we're giving you a closer look at the KTM and the Husqvarna Dakar Hydration Pack made exclusively for these two companies by Ogeo. I'm gonna say this is a medium to large pack. You have a three liter hydration bladder that comes included, plus, as you're about to see, a lot of additional storage capacity. So, if that's what you're in the market for and you're a KTM or Husky guy, well, this could be a really good option. Now, looking at it, if we talk about construction first, I think it's one of the strong suits of this pack. I think it has great durability. The main construction is this 150 denier mini honeycomb ripstop material, so great durability there. And if we start with the shoulder straps, so a couple things I like about these. You've got adjustability with the straps. You can see it right here underneath this, this Velcro. So these are adjustable. You're also going to have adjustability down here at the bottom. So the way this works is pretty simple. You've got this strap. So right now you can see I've got it on, on this second buckle. But if I wanted to, for larger riders that want to expand this, you could just pull that out and loop it just around this first buckle, and that will give you some additional length, again, for those larger sizes. So you've got plenty of adjustability with the straps. Here's another feature that I like. You'll notice down here, this center buckle, this is going to pivot. It's going to help reduce any binding that the pack would have. And then also, these buckles down here where those bottom straps connect also pivot as well. So they're doing everything that they can just to help this thing move freely, not bind as you're riding. You'll notice the SIP tube is coming down the right side. You can ride it down either side if you do want to. You do have this clip right here that will come on the right side right out of the bag, but you can take this off and move it to the left side if you do want to. So a couple different options there. Underneath all that, if you undo this real quick, You've got some nice padding. So the shoulder straps, you've got some padding in there along with mesh to help this thing breathe. You've got these shoulder pads going along the back and then you can see you've got some mesh padding down here along the bottom as well. If we flip it around, we look at the front. Let's talk about your pockets that you're getting here. Like I said, a lot of storage capacity. So first one, you're going to notice the side pockets. You've got a zip pocket here on the side. I'll put my hand in there just so you can kind of see how big that is. So I can get my whole hand in there pretty easily. And then on the other side, you're just going to have a mesh expandable pocket here. Now here, you've got this EVA molded pocket, so it's going to offer a little bit of extra protection for the items inside here. This will open up. If you look in the inside here, you've got a couple zippered mesh pockets here on the inside of that lid. You've got a clip for your keychain, a couple more mesh pockets in a zippered pocket here. But something that you're going to notice is you have these male ends right here, these buckles. And then up on the top, you've got the female end. So the purpose for these, if you want, you can open up this molded pocket, help it expand, and then you can take these straps and clip those just to get a little bit more expansion out of that pocket. Now I will say, on the product page, they say that you could fit a helmet in here. I don't think you're gonna get a motocross helmet. In fact, I know you're not going to. You're not gonna get one to fit inside here. I've tried it, doesn't work. But for say mountain biking, if you have a half helmet that you're wearing, I think a mountain bike helmet, you could get to work with that setup. So just something to keep in mind there. Next up, on the top, you're going to have a fleece line pocket here on the top. It's pretty deep, actually. It's going to be bigger than the one on the side that I showed you, so easily going to fit your largest cell phones, your you know, electrical accessories inside here that you don't want, getting, don't want getting scratched. And then, undo this here on the side. Oh, other side. This is going to be your largest compartment. So this is just one large pocket. There's no other zippers in here, no organization. So. Take your extra gear, your clothing, your food, whatever you want, stuff it in here. It's just gonna be one large storage compartment. Now the last one is going to be where your hydration bladder lives. So first thing you're gonna notice, you have insulation material on the inside. What's nice about that is they say it will help insulate your drinks up to 30% longer. So you put your water here in here when it's cold. This will help keep it cold throughout the day. You're gonna notice too the sip tube, which is nice. Detaches nice and easily right up here from the top. And then that's just gonna go down. And what I like, you can see, you've got this hard plastic piece that goes from the top of the hydration bladder all the way down to the bottom. Well, that's what they call just their anti-slosh. And the purpose for that, once you have the bladder full, that will just help keep it in place so it's not sloshing all over the place when you're riding. So that is a feature that I do like on these hydration packs. Also, the way you open and close, this is a little bit different. So you've got these blue tabs up here at the top. So the way you work this is you're just gonna press these up. And once you've done that, just open up the hydration bladder. So that's how you're gonna open this up. So it's not a slide closure. I've actually used a bladder like this that works really well, it didn't leak on me. And then to do it back up, you're just gonna close it. Close those back up. Take your SIP tube, reconnect it, you're good to go. So very easy to do. So, 
that is it. That is the KTM and the Husqvarna Dakar Hydration Back. Again, made exclusively by OGO. If you guys have questions or comments, leave those below. We'll get those answered. To pick yours up, you can click on the link or head over to RockyMountainATVMC.com. Remember, orders over $75 ship free. If you guys like this video and you want to see more just like it, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will always keep you guys up to date. I am Chase. We'll see you on the trails.